Today we're doing Lesson 110 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 110. I am as God created me. I am as God created me. We will repeat today's idea from time to time. For this one thought would be enough to save you and the world if you believed that it is true. Its truth would mean that you have made no changes in yourself that have reality, nor changed the universe so that what God created was replaced by fear and evil, misery and death. If you remain as God created you, fear has no meaning, evil is not real, and misery and death do not exist. Today's idea is therefore all you need to let complete correction heal your mind and give you perfect vision that will heal all the mistakes that any mind has made at any time or place. It is enough to heal the past and make the future free. It is enough to let the present be accepted as it is. It is enough to let time be the means for all the world to learn escape from time and every change that time appears to bring in passing by. If you remain as God created you, appearances cannot replace the truth, health cannot turn to sickness, nor can death be substituted for life or fear for love. All this has not occurred if you remain as God created you. You need no thought but just this one to let redemption come to light the world and free it from the past. In this one thought is all the past undone. The present saved to quietly extend into a timeless future. If you are as God created you, then there has been no separation of your mind from his, no split between your mind and other minds, and only unity within your own. The healing power of today's idea is limitless. It is the birthplace of all miracles, the great restorer of the truth to the awareness of the world. Practice today's idea with gratitude. This is the truth that comes to set you free. This is the truth that God has promised you. This is the word in which all sorrow ends. For your five minute practice periods, begin with this quotation from the text. I am as God created me. His son can suffer nothing. And I am his son. Then, with this statement firmly in your mind, try to discover in your mind the self who is the Holy Son of God himself. Seek him within you, who is Christ in you, the Son of God and brother to the world, the Savior who has been forever saved, with power to save whoever touches him, however lightly, asking for the word that tells him he is brother unto him. You are as God created you, Today, honor yourself. Let graven images you made to be the Son of God instead of what He is be worshipped not today. Deep in your mind, the Holy Christ in you is awaiting your acknowledgement as you. And you are lost and do not know yourself while He is unacknowledged and unknown. Seek Him today and find Him. He will be your Savior from all idols you have made. For when you find Him, you will understand how worthless are your idols and how false the images which you believed were you. Today, we make a great advance to truth by letting idols go and opening our hands and hearts and minds to God today. 
we will remember him throughout the day with thankful hearts and loving thoughts for all who meet with us today. For it is thus that we remember him. And we will say that we may be reminded of his son, our holy self, the Christ in each of us. I am as God created me. Let us declare this truth as often as we can. This is the word of God that sets you free. This is the key that opens up the gate of heaven and lets you enter in the peace of God and his eternity. That's lesson 110. I am as God created me. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, just go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.